Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, today together, we're going to be finishing page 60 in our math workbook. We're going to be making eight and nine. It is probably the most important and the most challenging workbook page out of all of them. Um, it's going to be really important, so I hope we're understanding. If you do not understand, please ask me. When you get back to school on Monday, we are going to be taking our unit test, um, which is that big test um, with the four pages. So hopefully we are understanding everything that we have learned in these last couple chapters or lessons. Um, but today we're going to be finishing it off with making eight and nine. You're going to need a blue and red crayon. Please make sure that you use blue and red the whole entire time. We're not switching colors. You only need a blue and red. If for some reason you don't have a blue and red, please use a color similar to those. All right, this side you're going to be making eight, and this side you're going to be making nine. Oops. And I will probably do the first two with you, and then hopefully you can do the last two on your own, and then maybe have an adult check it at home. We should be getting pretty good at this. So I'm going to start right here making eight, and I'm starting with my blue every time. Do you guys hear me? I want to start with my blue because it is first, so I'm going to put blue first every single time. When I am finished with my blue and red, I am going to be taking my pencil and writing in the numbers, how many blues I used and how many reds I used. I have to count out of my 10 frame because they did not mark off my last couple squares. So it's my responsibility to make sure I'm only filling in eight. So I'm going to start with my blue and I am going to do one, two, three, four, five. I did five blue counters. One, two, three, four, five. So then I'm going to switch to my red crayon and I'm going to do five, six, seven, eight. I started at the top and I moved right down to my second row. I did not mix up. I did not go row to row. Five frame filled in and then I moved on to eight. These two spaces are left open because I'm only making eight. And then with my pencil, I'm going to write in how many I used. I used five blues and three reds. Please make sure you are not forgetting this part. It is just as important as filling in the 10 frame. All right, to make nine, I am going to be starting with my blue and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just chose seven, but now it's my job to count on from seven to get to nine. How many more am I going to need? I am not, remember, I am not using the square. I'm not making 10. I'm only making nine. So I should only have seven, eight, nine, two more squares to do. Notice I left this one blank. I started with my five frame. I continued with my blue, even on the bottom, five, six, seven. I switched my red and I had two reds. Five, seven plus two equals nine. Seven plus two equals nine. With my pencil, I will write that down. I had seven blues and then I had two reds, okay? Seven blues, two reds to make nine. Down here at the bottom, you're going to be doing it on your own. Please choose a different way. We are not using five and three, and we're not using seven and two to make eight or nine. I also want to say if you are using to if you're using zero, which is fine, you only can do it for one. So same thing on your test on Monday. If I'm gonna make eight with eight blues and zero reds, that's fine because that's eight plus zero, but you cannot do it for nine. You cannot do nine blues plus zero reds. They need to be different. And I will say the same thing on Monday again when you take your quiz. I guess it's more like a test. But this was page 60. This is your last math page for the week. Please ask for help if you need it. And I hope it goes so smoothly for you. If you need anything, I'm always here. Thanks.